Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another beautiful day here at Jetty Park. We hope everybody is doing well out there. It is a beautiful December day. Very nice, we've been enjoying our time here at Jetty Park. And what more can I say? Look at the view behind us and right next to us is our camper. That's so right. what do we got to say today? All right, so we just wanted to give you guys a little information in case you've never been here. Number one, the RV inlet sites, which are sites one through 23, are right here on the inlet. They all have picnic tables and water, but they do not have grills or electric or sewer hookup. So that's an important thing to Just know. Just water. Just water if you want to stay on the inlet side, which we prefer. Definitely prefer the inlet It's beautiful. Side. We definitely enjoy the water side. That's right. But they do have other sites, which we will take you around and give you a quick look. And they have tent sites as well as full hookup and just electric sites. And they also have cabins. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and show you a few of the sites right now and drive you around some of the sites so you can get a feel for the sites on the inside, which are fenced in. So these are tent sites, 35 to 45, no RV traffic. Oh, these are nice and shaded. Pretty nice. They all have picnic tables. That's a pretty nice area. Yeah, number 35. Yeah, look at the grill. Oh yeah. Very nice. Does have a grill and a picnic table. that tree to help keep it cool during the summer. Yeah, 39. This is a pet friendly campground, but I believe you have to show shots and stuff. So make sure that you contact them before you bring your pet. These sites 105, 107, this outside row here, you see the port is right there, and that's the Mardi Gras. Yeah, we just wanted to show a little bit more of the different tent area that they have here. Okay, they also have on the jetty side, mm -hmm. uh, they have a playground. You're only five minutes from the beach, but then again, you're only probably about five to eight minutes walk yeah. from the inside full hookup sites. That's right, they're close to the beach Everything's also. pretty close. Uh, you are allowed to have a golf cart here. As you can see, we're on ours right now. Yeah. Not too many people have them, but it's a good, you know, it's good piece of transportation if you, if you want to take you know your cooler or something like that from your campsite to a parking spot by the closer to the, the beach beach also they have a pier out there you don't need a license to fish out there no nope. so that's nice um you do need a license though to fish offshore that's right you do but the pier is not very far so you can just go over there and fish and, for free um uh, also the spots out here are big enough to fit your car 
next to your RV if you need it. So that's nice. We are actually pulling our trailer also. They do have overflow for trailers if you bring your trailer. So you could bring a boat as well because there's a boat launch right next mm -hmm. to the campground. There is a boat launch. Yeah. So you can bring your boat as well and park it in a secured area behind the gate. There's tackle and bait. There's live bait. That's right. They there's have... a cafe. Yep. So you could go over there, uh, which is only like another three minutes walk from us. There's a cafe right there. Yeah, that's a, and it looks, smelled really good. They also have the store. They have ice and things like that that we're going to be also showing you. Mm -hmm. And remember, the times are, you have to double check the times. I know the store right now is only open from like 1 to 6. Yes. I'm not sure the cafe. I think they close earlier. So Yes, the, the cafe is, I think, only breakfast for now because they're short staffed, they said. So definitely, just check. when you come here, just double check all the times when you get here. And uh, as we said, or if we haven't, they do have a dump station here. So if you're staying here for a longer period of time, right here on the jetty side, you can always go right around the corner. It's not that far, maybe what? Five minutes Five drive. minutes. I know we said a five minute walk, but. Seems like everything's about five it's minutes. It's not it's that very far. Close. Um, also, there is a shortcut from behind us to the store in the inside that you can go to. You can just walk over. And it's everything's very close. They have pavilions here. They have uh, playgrounds. Playgrounds. Uh, obviously, the bathrooms. Yep. If you need to go to the bathroom. Yep. So on this side, on the inlet side, the bathrooms are pretty much shared with the people that go to the beach and the regular jetty park. So on this side of the inlet, we're on this side of the campground where we are staying, the inlet side, there's only restrooms here. But if you go right through the little gate, like Scott said, they do have showers, they have laundry facilities, mm -hmm. and that is also where the dump station is. So if you stay on this side, you can still use their restrooms, brush your teeth and stuff like that, but there are no showers on this side. You have to go on the other on side the of the inside. fence. Yep. Yeah, and you do need tokens for the laundry mat. So yeah, that's right. It says two dollars a, a token, and it's two dollars per cycle of the washers and dryers. Okay. Also, they have some more information inside the store, so I really recommend everybody stop by there and see what they got inside, and also ask them for a timesheet of when the cruise ships are coming in and out. Most of the time, the cruise ships are coming in real early in the morning, so. If you want to catch if a you glimpse want to catch of that. that, you need to get up really early in the morning, or I don't know what early is for you guys, but some of them come in at midnight, some of them come in at six, right? Yep. Also, uh, typically the ones that come in, like the Disney Dream, the Disney Fantasy, once you see them come in the morning, them are the ones that are typically going right back out the same day. Yeah, usually so, around four, five, <clears throat> six o'clock. Uh, also, rocket launches, they, they, look in advance to see when the rocket launches are going off. they have a off. list of them over there at um, the store as well. They some, have a little list of them. Yeah, sometimes anybody that does rocket launches know that some most of the time, sometimes they, they don't go as planned, so they don't have them or they scrub them for the next day or whenever they reschedule it. If you're lucky enough, right behind us, right at this site that we're at right now, or anywhere on the jetty side. Yeah, this whole side. Perfect viewing for rocket launches. Yeah, actually, you could probably watch it from the inside of the campground, too. Just oh, yeah. Won't, it'll be obstructed by some trees. Yeah. But you can always walk over if you, if there's going to be a rocket launch. One more thing I wanted to mention, if you do stay on the inlet side, they do not allow pets because there is no electric. So keep that in mind. If you do have pets, you will not be able to stay on the inlet side of the campground. Pets are welcome on the inside of the campground, the gated part where they have electric. Yeah, they do have generator hours on this side. Typically not too many people. We haven't heard them too often. And if you do, they're pretty quiet. But they're, I yeah, mean, it's, I don't think it's... it's not that big a deal. They do have quiet hours. Uh, we're here in December. It's a little bit cooler than in the dead of summer. We yeah. do get the breeze off the ocean and at night it cools down. So we don't really have a problem staying over here with no electric. So they, when you do check in, they will give you a gate code to get into the campground where they have it gated, where it's all fenced in. And then if you want to go through the pedestrian walkways into the campground, like to go take your shower, go check out the store, whatever, 
they also give you a little code to get in through the gates they are locked right yeah because you do have day people that come over on this side right so it's just for security and stuff like that the inside is gated off and also the sheriff comes by a lot which multiple is good. times a day it's a pretty safe place it's pretty secure i think they close it down to everybody fishing at nine like nine o'clock so after that time uh I also i will say on this side too it's pretty dark yeah there yeah, are it's no pretty lights, dark which is cool and with that in mind too they also have wi-fi here that's right it's i don't spotty. know how good it is but they do have wi-fi and they will give you a code for that also mm. matter of fact i think the wi-fi is actually would probably be better because all the the uh poles for it are on the inside there's really nothing on the outside here <laughs> yeah. i think it's pretty spotty out here we have our own mobile hotspot, so we don't really need it but they do have it okay guys so that's gonna do it all this fun filled action crammed into one video for you guys that's right hopefully no it's informative that's right and we do have another video on jetty campground if you want to go and check that one out So, good morning everyone. Look what Charlie brought me this morning. We were doing a little fishing right here on the jetty. What do you think, Charlie? Life is good. It sure is. Life is good with Charlie. <laughs> and with Scott. That's awesome, isn't it? Alright, so we're just sitting out here enjoying the boat. The ships, the yachts, and it's a beautiful morning. Mm -hmm. So this building here between the campground and the beach used to be a snack bar, but it says thanks for the last four years. So it is no longer open. I'm sure they'll put something else, but for right now it's closed. So that's our site. There's the water. Now we're gonna walk over to the dumpster to throw our trash out. Which is right over there, not too far. They also have lots of picnic tables and grills. 
as well as a really nice as well as a really nice playground. On this side of the campground is the public restroom. So no showers, just one regular and one handicap accessible stall with a sink and an outlet. So this is the bathroom that's closest to the inlet RV sites. Okay, that's our that's where we're camping. The garbage and the playground. And right over here, go real slow so I don't make anyone dizzy. They have a secure gate, which they give you the code to that you can go in. And this is where you can go to the little campground store as well as the showers. So they have washers and dryers available over here in the gated section of the campground. It says do not use quarters. You have to get tokens and they're $2 a token. And here are the showers they have. Two showers and one handicap accessible shower. Pretty clean. They also have three stalls to use the restroom. Two regular ones and one handicap accessible. Okay, and this is the locked portion, the gated portion of the campground. As you go in, that is the entrance. That is where the dumpster is. And here's a little store. And there is the dump station. So if you needed to, if you're staying on the inlet and you need to circle around in here and dump your tanks while you're staying on the side of the jetty, you could come around and do that. And that is where we are camping. Over here, this is the Water's Edge Cafe and Tackle. So not too far if you want to come over here and grab breakfast. They got from poles to lures to bait. Sunblock. Anything you would need for fishing. And even some stuff not for fishing. And they sell live bait also. Shrimp, mud minnows, pinfish, croakers, fiddler crabs. And this is the store at the campground. All kinds of stuff. They got glasses. Batteries, sand toys for the beach. Just going to give a quick overview. They close at 6 o'clock. They got firewood because some people bring their own fire rings. Let's see. Let's gauge how much this stuff is. $249 for 40 plates. $1022 for a cylinder of propane. Tablecloth is $250. All kinds of utensils. They have a small selection of pantry items, which is good to know. Quick snacks, dog food. SpaceX shirt, $25. Well, they got a lot of SpaceX stuff. A lot of SpaceX shirts. Occupy Mars short sleeve shirt. No price. Beach bags. Or Canaveral shirts. Those are cool wind chimes.
Jetty Park magnets. Jetty Park shot glasses. 350. Oh, this is cute. Twelve dollars. That one says Port Canaveral. Lots of cute little things. Cute little ashtray. Oh, that's cute. Happy Camper. Jetty Park. Three dollars. Seven twenty nine. See how much a hose is. $9.99 for a three foot, $19.99 for a six foot, and for $61.06, you get this one that looks like it has everything in it. It's uh, 20 foot. Water hoses will run you $12.25 for a 10 foot. They also have eggs, milk, and butter here. Okay, so that's going to do it for us here. We're going to go back and enjoy the rest of our day, and we hope you guys enjoy yours. That's Until right. next time, we'll see you who knows, who knows where, where, but we'll see you again, hopefully, With right smiles. here because they're free. <laughs> Thank Bye. you, guys. Take care.